Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 8.6. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to go ahead and um, take a break from our capital ship build here, even though it looks really damn cool. Um, this is my Corvette. If this is the first time you're watching me or you haven't seen the last two episodes, uh, we started our capital ship build. Yes, we did, and uh, this is what I've done so far. Uh, this is the front end of what's going to be a Corvette class-ish um, capital ship. And uh, so, yeah, we've got that much done. And the thing is, though, is that we have we have run out of Sathium, uh, at least up in the space station. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back down to the planet. We're going to see how much I have left down there and probably um, go on another uh, trip and get some Sathium mined up. But the good news is that we now have mining lasers. Yay! So mining is not going to be quite as painful now as it was uh, before we got the mining lasers. So, let's hop on into our little space station here. Um, and we're gonna... Yeah, we got a pretty good supply of iron, but we're super, super low on Zath. have uh, almost nothing in this one, too. We're gonna go ahead and just keep the, the capital ship components in there for now. Let's pop this stuff in here. We don't need to take that with us. I'm gonna rearrange my tool belt back to combat mode so we put that guy there we put the worthless shotgun there we put the worthless sniper rifle there <laughs> and the drill goes there uh, no actually we'll put the rocket launcher here there 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 okay good so now we're back in combat mode okay so let's see we need to pop off our O2 let's do that first I think I'm going to go ahead, though, and put my remaining food in here. We might eat one of those, because uh, we're going to go back down and we'll harvest the garden and make some more food uh, down below. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I need to do here, but we are going to shut these guys off so they're not sucking power when they're not doing anything for us. Um, you know what, too? We might... Uh, we should probably bring some more promo up here, too. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. We're very low on Promethium up here. Now, we're not necessarily low on fuel. I mean, I've got a pretty good stack of it right here. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely low on Promethium. So we're going to be looking for that stuff, too. You know, one thing we could do, now that I think about it, now that I think about it, we have, we now have mining lasers for capital ships don't we? Let's look and see. Have I learned this? I have. Okay, drill module laser for capital vessels. All right, let's go back in here for a second. Let's select capital ships and weapons. Oscillator and power coil. Rocket launcher. Um. So what would be, what would be, we be short on for that? We've got lots of cobalt. We got lots of copper. We got lots of iron. We got lots of silicon. We got lots of oh, it's the sathium. Yeah, damn it, it's the sathium. It's always the sathium. <laughs> well, not always, but often it's the sathium. Okay. Um. Well, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna we're not gonna be able to take advantage of that right at the moment then. Um, I do also when we get back to the planet, I need I need to make a couple of quick modifications to my uh, my camo miner based upon what I did on the multiplayer stream uh, yesterday. So let's get the Jade Jet parked back up on top of the shuttle here. previously that we want to kind of keep this off to one side so we can still get in and out of the door. Let's bring it forward just a little more too. It's not exactly docked on there but it's good enough. It's good enough. Okay we'll cut the power on this. 
Uh, was I doing anything in the constructor of this? Oh, I was making fuel in it. That's what I was doing. Okay. Um... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to keep that in there. I think I'm going to keep that in there. Oops. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. Let's go get fixed back up now. Okay, I think we're ready to bust on out of here. Oh, I didn't start my timer. We're about six minutes into this video, so... There we go. Alright. Let's turn the power on. We've got plenty of fuel. And here we go. Back down to our home planet. We'll be back, Corvette. Pretty cool. All right, guys. I'm going to cut the video here. And uh, when I get down to the planet and I get ready to rock and roll, I'll bring you back. Be back in a bit. Bye. All right. Here we are. Back home. On Valis. I'm going to land our ship down here. Oh, I put landing gears on this thing, too, in the video that crapped out on me. Um... As you guys can see, actually, I want to pull this out a little bit. I've been having another problem, too, with um, with the game. And that is that my, my hover vessels always disappear from the garage. Let's see if they're in there now. I bet you they're not, but they might be. They are. Good thing I didn't bet any money. Oh, well, there's there's two. What? What the hell? Okay, so what happened here is a few episodes ago, I logged in, and both of my hovercraft were, were gone. And I'm going, what the hell? So I went ahead and just admin spawned them back in. And then two or three episodes, whatever the last time it was that I was back down here, they were gone again. And then, then I figured, well, screw it, then I'm not going to spot them in until I actually need them again. And now, for some reason, they're all back. They're both back. That is bizarre. That's really bizarre. Okay, um, well, I'll probably, I'm going to just delete the extra one. Um... Yeah, and then just go with that, I guess. I don't know. Weird. Okay. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that right now. What are we here for? Uh, we're here for for some food, and um, we have got lots of silicon. Okay, so we, we have a little sathium left here. So we're going to grab... I want I don't want to, like, take everything from down here. Yeah, we do have a pretty decent supply of it, though, don't we? Cool. Let's pull that out. Let's grab a couple more neo neos. Okay, so I did leave some Zask and some arrest from down here too. Can I make can I make that drill here? For the cap ship? Because then what we could do is we could go hit the you know the, the asteroids in the or the, uh, yeah, asteroids. I can. Let's make one of these. I want to see how big they are. I want to see how big they are. Okay, what do we got in here? We've got, oh yeah, we've got more iron. Let's grab a few more stacks of that too, because we're going to be burning through this stuff like crazy. Grab some more silicon and bring it up there with us, too. That's a repair bay. You know, we could put... <clears throat> we could put this on the space station, but I'd, I'd rather have a Tech 2 repair bay if I'm going to mess with that, though. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to actually bring some water up there, too. What we could do is go down uh, to... 
our water generators on the way back and uh, just grab whatever's in there and bring those back with us. And promethium, yeah, promethium was the other thing that I wanted to bring back up there with us too. I don't have any in there. How, how, are, we, how are we doing it? Ooh. Ooh, okay, so we've made, yeah, we've made a crap ton of fuel. So, yeah, we are low on promo, but, man, oh, man, we got lots of fuel, for sure. How are we doing on fuel in here? We got a full complement, man. That's awesome. Because we added more capacitors uh, a couple episodes ago. I don't know if that's the one that, you know, that failed on me or not, but uh, let's put that in there. We'll take this full stack with us. That's, that's a decent supply of fuel. Healthy supply of fuel, for sure. Okay. Is this thing done? It is. Let's just... I want to see how big this thing is. I've never used these before. Not on a capital ship. Because my thought was that we would just temporarily attach them to mine, and then when we're done, we we'll just take them back off again. All right? So... Woo! Okay, those are pretty good sized. Those are definitely pretty good sized. But what we could do is we could put one on each side of this guy um yeah I, I just don't know how powerful these are going to be let's start with two okay we'll start with two and we'll go up and mine a couple roids and then if i feel like three would be warranted then we'll make a third one that's what we'll do okay uh so let's go back to here and we'll make a, we'll make another one of those Beautiful. While that's doing its thing, let's go put some crops in here. We'll just pick all these guys. Oh, inventory's full. Okay. Um, then we better go unload some of this stuff on the capital vessel. in here and that down there and then we'll make another batch of, uh, of canned food one of these times here soon I know I say this all the time but uh, one of these times here soon I'm gonna finish out this farm and do it the way I had have intended to do it all along I just haven't gotten that far yet but we will it is definitely in the works to do so. Pick these guys. Something uh, that I learned yesterday in the multiplayer stream uh, from my my buddy Warata, who is uh, quite an experienced player of. Uh, Impurion, and he, he doesn't stream, but he does join us on our streams on Wednesday night. Anyway, he said that um, if you want, if you want to grow crops for canned food, and you want um, the uh, the production to be pretty much even, uh, the best thing to do is to, is to plant the space peppers, or what they used to be called the durians, uh, because they grow at about the same uh, pace as the spice. He said if you're not going to, you know, be farming constantly. Um, and more once in a while then you're better off doing pumpkins like I'm doing because the pumpkins give you the most yield. So anyway, I thought that was an interesting thing to know. Um, all right, let's 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 make one dino stew and then we'll just queue up a bunch of cans here. And we'll eat this right now. We'll take that with us. That's funny that those hovercrafts reappeared. I wonder if they were th there all along and I just, you know, they were invisible or something and I just couldn't see them. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, I'll deal with those offline. I'll, I'll just use admin commands and delete the extra ones. Okay, is this guy done? Let's grab him. Now, I don't... I'm not planning on keeping these things on here all the time, though I suppose I probably could. I suppose I probably could, huh? I don't know. It looks a little, a little janky, though. <laughs> 
And we'll stick them on for now. Is that one in the same spot as the other one? I think so. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. If we do end up leaving these on permanently, then we probably better color them up. So they match the blue and black theme of the uh, warp shuttle. And speaking of which, it is my intention to make the Corvette a blue and black theme as well. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, blue is my favorite color, first of all. And secondly, I haven't really, um, I haven't really built a blue ship yet. I mean, the Cylon Raider is like totally red and black. Uh, the old guy RV is, is yellow and black. The J-Jet, of course, is green and black. I must like black, huh? Uh, the yellow jacket that we built in, in um, Alpha 7 is yellow and black. Our camo miner that we built a, couple, uh, a week or so ago is camo, green and brown. So I think it's time to give Blue some love. Definitely. Okay, so let's see. The next thing we want to do, we're almost ready to, to take take back off and get out of here. Uh, but we're going to spawn in the miner here. And this guy I built on stream a week ago yesterday on our multiplayer stream that we do on Wednesday nights. Um, so we're going to make a couple modifications to it. And starting with, let's go back in here. I want to make some more powerful thrusters for it because the thrusters that I put in there didn't have enough oomph to get us around on, a, on the high gravity planet that we happened to be on. Uh, so what I did is I made two of these um, and I upgraded, I upgraded it last night but I haven't upgraded this particular uh, specific one. Okay, so we did that. We also had an old guy moment and we forgot to add an ammo box to it because we also then want to put a minigun on the hovercraft to give us a little bit of defense when we're out and about. Now the other thing I might do too, since we have the material, is I might actually upgrade this guy to uh, Hell, we could go all the way up to combat steel on it if we wanted to. And then maybe I would make a, an alternate, you know, a more expensive version of it, but keep the cheap version as it is. You know what, let's do that. But before we do that, let's let's upgrade the cheap version uh, so we can save it. I might... You know what, I'm going to make a couple other changes to this here, too. Do we have any normal steel blocks? If we did, they'd probably be in here. We've got a couple, but not very many. Okay. I think I'm going to need a few more of those. So, plastic blocks. Hmm, I've never used those. Why the hell would you use plastic? Super light, maybe? Probably not very tough, though. Interesting. All right, let's queue up a few more of those. Yeah, we're going to make a couple quick modifications here. All right, so what I want to do is... I want to cover these guys up. So we have a little bit of protection on our our drills. I even need to make a few more of those, I don't know. Should have put the symmetry plane on, then I didn't have to do this twice. Yeah, that's alright, not a big deal.
Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, I don't think I'm going to cover up the thrusters. I mean, you know, this is supposed to be a very inexpensive, you know, ladybug category, minor. And uh, so I don't want to go overboard with it. But this is not adding hardly any extra expense to this thing at all. So we might as well just do this. Okay. Um, I just had an idea. So what if we do something like this? Hold those back off. Oops, I hit the damn drill. Okay, get that repaired. Now, uh, what I'm thinking about doing instead, just to give it a little more character here, is let's switch to these guys here and flip it that way. There we go. Yeah, I know. Probably looks weird, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Um, could we also flip that around there and just put Okay. I guess that's all right. Now we want to come back behind here, and we're going to take these out. Shit, that's not what I want to do. Repair. Okay. And then we're going to put in the larger thrusters. this. Okay, that gives us a little more oomph. And then I think the next thing that we did was we took off, uh, let's see, yeah, we can't really put that there because then we can't get to our O2 station. I don't remember if I removed that or not. Hmm. Okay, well, let's pull that block out, and then we're going to take and put this guy. You know what? I think I actually did put that there, but that's not good because then it screws up our getting to our oxygen. Definitely looks better right there. I wonder if we did that. See, we can get to the station from down there if we need to. Um, think, 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 think. If we took a block here and we used something like... this No, nah, that's not going to look good, is it? Okay. Uh What if we use this guy? Put him there. It gives us a tiny bit of protection, but we can still reach the thing. But uh, based upon that logic uh, there, did I start my timer again? I did. Okay. 
for almost out of time. Uh, based upon that logic, could we also instead use... What am I looking for? Um, could we use this? No. That isn't going to work. Um, what about this guy? Turn like that. No, turn like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, it's still exposed a little bit, but it's not at quite as exposed as it was. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's get our paint gun here. Now, this is actually a custom brown color. Oh, it looks like it, it saved it. It must save it on my client then on the server. Perfect, okay. So now we can just paint that. And uh, this will be the army green color. Oh, we also want that to be uh, the camo too. So let's see, get the texture gun. Go to the camo, make sure it's on whole block. Shoot that. That's looking good. Looking good in the hood. Okay, we'll camo up all of this. Top will be green. Let's put the let's put the symmetry plane on. Because why not, right? Okay. And make sure this is whole block. I'm not gonna put plates along the bottom because it's very unlikely that that area would take any fire and yeah, that doesn't look so bad that doesn't look so bad for you know for a cheap for a cheap uh, setup anyway what if we um, what if we actually change these to that just for the hell of it because why not right and let's put one more block on this using this guy again just to cover up that ammo box and give it a smidgen of protection. Excellent. Alright, I think that's it for uh, for the cheap and easy version of this. Let's take the symmetry plane off. And then we are going to give it another save. And I'm just going to overwrite the one we saved last night. Because this is really just the same thing, only a little better improved version. Okay, so that's safe. By the way, if you guys are interested uh, in this, uh, let me know and I will put it up on the Steam Workshop if you want to actually try it out. Okay, so that's uh, that's the, the wussy version. Now we're going to make the badass, more expensive version, okay? To do that, the first thing we want to do is inside of here, I oh, there goes the doggone timer again. All right, you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and honor the timer. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to end the episode here and when we come back uh, we'll just continue on 
with uh, making the modifications to our, our little camo miner here. And then uh, we'll go off and do some actual mining. Uh, go after some sapium, go after some promethium, and some of the stuff we need with these uh, big ass mining lasers that we put on here. <laughs> actually, actually kind of makes the shuttle look pretty cool now. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, come and see me on a live stream. I do stream several times a week on Twitch. And also come and hang out on our Discord channel if you want to have a great group of people in our Discord. Awesome community. You can find the links to both of those in the About section of the YouTube channel. And finally, uh, just be aware that I have a little merchandise going on now. I've got some t-shirts and some coffee cups with the old guy logo on it. And if you're interested in that, the link to that place is going to be in the description of this video. You guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.